Well, hey everybody, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in beautiful San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com, here on YouTube and all the usual suspect places like Facebook and Instagram. So check out our Facebook and Instagram for some short little videos, uh, little excerpts from like the one we're going to do today. We got a cool guitar here and there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, features of this because they are just now making it to market. But if you haven't heard, Now's the time to hear about this revolutionary new acoustic guitar from Yamaha. This is part of their new line called the Trans Acoustic Series. This particular one is the LSTA, which is their smaller bodied uh, L-series guitar with the trans acoustic technology. Now this is some cutting edge stuff that has been kind of trickling to market. This is the first time I've seen it where it's actually integrated into the guitar itself. So let's talk a little bit about what you get with this guitar and what this amazing new technology is. So this is part of what Yamaha's L-Series has been, which is all solid wood guitars using their, their ARE technology. Um, and in this particular case, it's a small kind of concert or folk, or maybe kind of a triple O body. It's its own unique shape to Yamaha. Uh, it's deeper than a typical triple O, and it's all solid wood. In this case, it's Engelmann spruce on the top, with uh, tapered bracing and the back and sides is East Indian Rosewood. Again, it's all solid. It's got a uh, mahogany neck with laminated ebony in the back of it, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, all quality materials and they're using their ARE technology treatment on the top and basically it's a torrefaction process. If you're not familiar with that, torrefaction is something that's been around for a while. It's used to treat lumber and guitar manufacturers have started using it in order to get the tops of the guitars to open up. It basically ages it so that you buy a brand new guitar that's already open. The fibers in the guitar have, uh, the, the, the volatiles have evaporated, the sugars have crystallized, and you get a top that's much more resonant and much more open. So from an acoustic standpoint, this is a great sounding guitar. It's all solid, so you're going to get that great resonance from the East Indian Rosewood back and sides. It's one and three quarter inch nut. It's a comfortable uh, kind of a oval, mi medium, low oval neck. Not too thin, not too thick. Very comfortable in the hand. And the body's, like I said, a uh, nice small body, a little deeper, so you have a nice rich tone and some accentuated highs. So as an acoustic guitar, it's a fantastic guitar. Comes with a hard shell case. It's a huge value, and if you've watched any of our videos, you know that we are impressed with Yamaha's quality, their build, and their guitars are just out of sight. Now, moving on from the basic construction of the guitar, Yamaha has a new technology that they're introducing into this. It's called transacoustic. Now, the transacoustic technology is also in use on one of their pianos. Uh, the line of pianos called Transacoustic. And what that does is it takes a normal acoustic piano and it adds a transducer to the soundboard that allows the piano to have both the acoustic sound of the strings as well as augment that with some uh, sounds that you get from maybe like a synthesizer or an organ. So you have digital sounds as well as the acoustic string sounds, but there's no speakers in it. It's using the reverberation of the soundboard itself. Yamaha has applied that to the acoustic guitar and what they've done is there's basically an actuator inside here that causes the guitar itself to reverberate, giving you onboard effects of reverb and chorus without having to plug into an amp. I'm going to let that sink in. I'm going to say it one more time so you can kind of understand what's going on. There is onboard electronics here that create effects in the guitar acoustically. So without plugging into any kind of interface, without plugging into any kind of amp, without the benefit of pedals or anything like that, I have reverb and chorus built right into the guitar. Now we're going to play this for a minute. I'm going to play it regularly acoustic with the system off, and then I'm going to turn the system on so that you can hear the difference that it makes. This is one of the funnest guitars to just simply be at home playing. It's, it's really hard to put down because once you turn on that system and you get some of this lush reverb, and chorus going, it's a blast. Now, this might sound a little familiar, and I am going to talk about another uh, item that's out there on the market, because it's been going around for those who are in the guitar circles, and it's called the Tonewood Amp. Now, the Tonewood Amp is, is kind of a, I don't want to call it skunk works, but it's been very prototyped, and it's sold direct, 
and there's not very many of them on the market. They kind of go out in batches through this company, and it's a device that you plug in to your guitar's pickup system, and then you basically connect it to the back of your guitar, and it generates a lot of these effects and things through the guitar acoustically, like we're going to experience with this. But it's not built in, um, and it's not inexpensive, and right now you have to kind of stick it to the back of your guitar, which I have mixed feelings about, but it's a really good product, so I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want you to think I'm bashing it anyway. It's really, really cool. This is the first time it's actually been integrated. And it's integrated in an already great guitar that's solid wood, that's well-made, well-engineered, sounds great, and comes in right at about a $1,000 mark. So check our website, alamomusic.com, for the latest pricing. They're just coming to market. We just got our first one. So it's a pretty exciting time. I'm anxious to see what they do with the system. Let me go over the controls real quick for you. You've got three knobs up here at the top. Okay, you have your reverb control here, chorus, and then line out volume. So it has a pickup system that you can use for typical acoustic electric amplification. You've got a room reverb and a hall reverb. The hall reverb has a bit more of a brightness and it's a longer reverb. And then you've got regular chorus. And you can basically sweep through here for the amount that you'd like of both the chorus and the reverb either hall or room. And then you have your volume control here for the line out. This volume control for the line out is also your on off button for the trans acoustic uh, system. So by holding it down, a little light comes on on a circuit board inside to confirm it's on and you've got the system active in the guitar. And trust me, you'll know it because you'll be able to hear the difference. So let's put it through its paces first acoustically and then with the system on so that you can hear it. sounds like law and order. I've got the reverb hall up all the way and the chorus all the way so that you can hear the effect. That's just cool. Okay, so I'm going to turn the chorus off. We're going to keep it on reverb hall and go through a few other chords so you can hear some of the difference. This is the room reverb. It's got a little bit of a shorter decay.
there's that lush reverb. Chorus. And there it is without it. Lots of fun. So, if you want to try this out, you got to come downtown to our historic store, check it out. There are going to be more coming in, but uh, this is one of the coolest guitars to hit the market in a long time. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to hang out for the next half hour playing this a little bit more. But uh, you guys can rewind and listen to how luscious and beautiful that sounded again. Uh, no thanks to these ham fingers, but what a great system. Anyways, if you have any questions, comment below. Check us out online. Subscribe so that you see the latest and greatest like this thing. And thanks for watching.